Tucson lost a brave guardian last night. Adam was an outstanding police officer, a hero amongst heroes. Emotions still raw tonight after the loss of Tucson police officer Adam Buckner. The 31 year old was tragically killed in the line of duty after his cruiser was hit by another car as he was responding to a call for service in Midtown. Thanks for joining us for 13 News Live at 10. I'm Dan Maris and I'm Mary Coleman. Last night before 10, officers responded to a report of a man breaking windows at a business near Speedway and Campbell. The suspect ran and additional officers were requested to assist. Officer Buckner was en route to the call with his emergency lights and siren activated. As he was going through the intersection on a green light at 6th and Campbell, a car failed to yield and caused the crash. Buckner's vehicle was sent into a traffic signal pole and he was taken to Banner UMC where he was pronounced dead. Our hearts go out to Officer Buckner's wife who lost her best friend and her husband. To Adam's brothers, sisters, mother, and his entire family, and everyone who knew and loved him. Officer Buckner joined the Tucson Police Department in November of 2021 and had started his law enforcement career with the New Orleans Police Department in 2017. Tonight, both departments are mourning his loss. 13 News reporter Emily Miranda joining us live. And Emily, this tragic death is being felt throughout the Tucson community and beyond. Dan, that is definitely correct. And last night, this intersection was a crime scene as TPD officer Adam Buckner tragically lost his life. Now I'm going to step over here real quickly just so you can see that people in the community have been out here leaving flowers despite the weather today, just showing how much of an impact Buckner had on the community. Now, as family, friends, and the community continue to mourn his loss, I've been speaking with a few people who had personal connections with him, and they tell me he was a down to earth guy, a comedian and would go out of his way to help anyone out. And tonight they want to share with the community just who he was and the types of the impacts they had on his his life had on theirs. He wanted to help people and it was reflected in his dedication as a recruit and it was reflected in his dedication on the street. Before joining the Tucson Police Department, Officer Adam Buckner started his law enforcement career in 2017 with the New Orleans Police Department. His former NOPD Academy instructor Max Brooks tells me Buckner was one recruit he wouldn't easily forget. He was one of the most dedicated recruits that came through there. And he took everything to heart, everything, that, everything he could learn and everything that he could do to do a better job. He was he was gung ho about it. Brooks tells me what impressed him most about Buckner was his humility. If there was something that he felt like he needed advice on, he'd ask you for it. Um, he he didn't he didn't try to step on or step over people. He really was a team player. After graduating from the academy, he became part of the B platoon. One of his platoon mates had this to say about him. Adam is the definition of a great police officer and person. He was always positive and happy going in every way. It didn't matter if it was a low priority call or high priority call. He was always there and would back everyone up. Prior to his time at NOPD, he was already making an impact on people in New Orleans while working at a guitar center. Like everyone loved Adam. I mean, he was so down to earth, so funny, like, he did his job really well, you know, like everyone loved him. When he finally moved from New Orleans, Brooks tells me it was hard for many. He touched so many people while he was on the job here. When we lost him, when he moved uh, out to Arizona, it was quite a loss. Buckner joined TPD in 2021 and quickly moved to the ranks. Tucson Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 1 president in a quote says, the evidence that he was truly an exemplary officer and person is clear. For him to already be assigned as a lead patrol officer shows that he had all the tools to go as far as he wanted within this profession. He answered the ultimate call in his faithful service to the Tucson community. He was a Lodge 1 member and we will ensure his sacrifice is never forgotten. While it's the end of watch for Officer Buckner, his service to both the Tucson and New Orleans community will not be forgotten. Now, anyone interested in donating to offer Officer Buckner's family can do so through the Eric Height Foundation. We will have a link up on our website at KOLD.com. Reporting in Tucson, Emily Miranda, 13 News.